All right. So with one hand, you're going to be on the reins. With the other hand, you're going to be using your stick, which simulates your bow. All right. We switch hands because left-handed, my bow goes in my left hand. So you want to wave it around your horse really slow at first. That way, when you're moving around with your bow, it doesn't bother your horse, okay? Now, like I said in my other video, whatever you're waving around, you know, if you had a whip or those extra reins where you're getting them to move forward, you just stop doing that. That way, when you pick up your bow, they are not afraid of it. And this kind of takes a lot of time for some horses to get used to having something swing around them that's not going to hurt them because occasionally you're going to poke them with it so get your horse used to you not hitting them with something in your hand to get them to move forward and then once they're okay with you waving things around then you can touch them with things and just touch them with it and do it super slow do it wherever move forward buddy so when you're moving around and you pop them in the butt they're okay with it because you've already you've already um, familiarized and I don't like the word desensitized because if they're really sensitive, you probably need a different horse. But if you're just familiarizing the horse with stuff, moving it around, then eventually your horse will be okay with it. All right? And then, like I said earlier, we've already dropped it from the horse at the standstill. You want to be able to do this the walk trot and canter while you're using the reins all right you want to be able to walk you want to be able to trot you want to be able to canter holding that stick moving it around every which way that way they get used to you having something in your hand other than something to make them go faster with and then when you're moving up moving off you know, sometimes you get in trouble and you have to drop your bow, so throw it out away from you. That way, your horse doesn't care. I'm going to throw it out in front of us, just because. All right? And you don't want to step on it. So, don't throw it out in front of you. Normally, I just wanted to see if you would do anything about it. But throw it out to the side, at shoulder height, away from you. All right? All right. So another thing you can do with your stick, you know, right now I'm using a Rollins sword, is tap it on the rail. And do it real light at first, and rhythmically. And then you can go heavier, because sometimes your foot might hit one of the barriers, and then your horse might freak out. Or if you're moving around, you can hit barrels just to get your horse used to extra noises around him without freaking out. Right now he's keying on some horse out the field over there, which generally normally isn't, but anyway. The only bad part about this is when your foot hits the rail, you better get it out of the way because your horse may not go sideways from it <laughs> but it's good to get them used to noises around them so when weird noises happen or things drop things fall down you're able to recover or just not your horse not even react that is much better all right and then as with everything you toss it out to the side both sides of the horse throw it away from them they shouldn't move but he is kind of focused on that horse out in the field okay same with your arrows uh, hold them loosely in your hand or if you have a bamboo that makes a good noise 
to rhythmically tap on your body or somewhere else so where your horse doesn't really care. And you can see my shadow, arrows are kind of moving around. He's not really caring about that because we're used to it all the time. We do this occasionally. But sometimes you, if you have like a, uh, not a crappy quiver, but just a loose quiver, or if your hip quiver isn't um, lined up on your hip correctly, sometimes those arrows will hit him in the butt. So make sure that doesn't happen. But if your arrows do make a lot of noise, then you want to kind of get rid of that noise. I'm going to try to get where I can see with the shadow. There we go. So I'm kind of hitting them on low on my leg right now, kind of loose so you can hear it. And it's rhythmic. So when you are in the saddle, you're canning down the lane, galloping down the lane. They're not thinking out about that noise because you don't want them going faster because your equipment is failing. Because you still have to take those shots and you want those shots to count. But working on this goofy stuff while you're doing your normal riding work helps out a lot. When you're in competition, you're trying to get your horse to listen. You're having equipment failures, but you're still able, still able to work it through, forgetting your horse, you're not flipping out, you're able to concentrate on your horse archery because you've done all this goofy stuff at home prior to coming to any practice or clinic, or this is just the stuff you do, warming up your horse, making sure they are familiar with goofy sounds. Now today, I'll usually drop my arrows in bundles on the ground. That way they get used to that as well while I'm in the saddle. And you can do that walk track canner as well. Today I'm going to drop it onto this barrel and just see how he does. All right, good job, bud. Let's step on the arrows, please. Let's go left, grab that knot and turn left and we didn't touch our arrows. So good, because sometimes you drop your arrows and your horse flips out, they step on them, and then you got extra arrows that you gotta go buy because you didn't familiarize your horse with dropping and falling arrows in the first place. So if you don't have arrows, get a bundle of bamboo and get it at uh, any hardware store and you can start working on it. Get your horse used to all this goofy little stuff so when you're doing horse archery, you don't have to worry about the horse so much. It's just, you know, you guys are a team and you're working together to get the job done, which is putting arrows on target. All right. All right, same with the whip. You're gonna be holding the reins and the handle of the whip. Pull back on that whip and give it that good flick. All right, give it that good flick. So, they're used to that twanging sound of the bow. Also, I'll take my whip. Make noises, there's a horse coming, so I gotta make sure I'm not scaring them, but Without hitting them, make these noises. Let's get out of the all of that. All of that uh, dust. Get your horse used to this stuff. And that twang of the bow is not going to bother them. It's pretty pretty simple simple stuff just work on it at home walk trot canner stand still same thing just do it relaxed so your horse is relaxed do it gently and then you can add 
intensity until they don't care. Because right? you were familiarizing them with it, you're not desensitizing. If I started off super fast like that, initially it might flip out, but if I start slow and I work up to that, then they're okay with it. And then you can translate that into horse archery.